this is rendered mode. This is, if you go up here and just say rendered mode, right? This is wireframe. This is shaded. This is rendered mode. This is in the screen. You can work in this mode. I can take this and I can, I could do this. I could actually model in this mode if I wanted to because the performance on it is good enough that this is really, this is really, you know, doing everything I need to do as far as a rendering mode. The idea behind this is that it's good enough now that for most of most uh, preliminary presentations, right? You're in the middle of a project and you need to get a you need to get a little gut check to see how the thing is progressing. You want to start doing some color material finish definitions. You want to prepare a uh, a turnover package for an overseas factory. You want to give something to a packaging group to use FPO images so that they can start developing packaging. Who wants to sit? you know, for an hour and wait for a rendering to run when literally all they need is a good enough image, right? So if I'm doing a, if I was designing this car, let's say this was a die cast car. And in this case, this actually is a real car. This was, this was generously provided from us. Here's my company plug uh, by advanced composite products. A gentleman by the name of Kerry Hitt runs that company and he's a championship winning driver. Uh, in the Trans Am GT series, uh, as well as uh, the guy who owns this company who allowed us to use this model for the demo. So, Carrie, you're the best. Thank you much. Um, so this is rendered view. So this is a live modeling view. You can do this all day long. It's got these beautiful um, ambient occlusion shadows. And, you know, for most things that you would typically have had to wait for rendering for, um, with the exception of like full blown presentation stuff, this gets you there. So, you know, I do a ton of modeling for the toy industry and uh, one of my largest clients is Mattel. I do tons and tons and tons of die cast cars. And in the past, what I used to have to do is sit and wait and do renderings in order to be able to get model approvals. Now I can just shoot these and I can go bip, 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 bip. And I can just throw these into an email and we're good to go in the, in the, the the communication ability and stuff is so much better because these images are of such high quality that you know that i'm i'm getting really good buy off from my clients because you know they don't have to work they don't have to you know interpret a gray model i can i can give them fully rendered and you know images here